Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my room tour move-in video. So this has been a little bit long overdue um, since I actually started filming this video when I was moving in, but it took so long to get stuff set up um, that I just, there was stuff that I wanted to include in the video and there's still stuff that I want to include in this video, but I decided to just like, stop and just make the video like how it is right my room is right now and then I'll do like follow-up videos about like like my walls are still pretty plain and I still need to decorate the walls but I'm just so particular and um, indecisive about those things like I want everything to be perfect that it just takes a long time <laughs> so um so yeah it's a few weeks later and I finally ordered a bunch of um, furniture from Ikea Home Depot, um, Amazon, and Target, and now I'm gonna show you the process of me unboxing everything and setting uh, all this stuff up. I'll show you the finished product of my room so far. The um, I've got all the boning down, so um, you know, and it is a new apartment. It's a new room, so you obviously um, doesn't look very lived in yet, <laughs> but or maybe it does. So um, I'm just gonna show you around and also tell you about um, the things that I bought and because I put in a lot of research. Into buying into almost like everything that I bought, I put in a lot of time, and so um, yeah, so here we go. So here is my finished IKEA shelf. Um, it took a bit to set up. I had to drill holes in the wall and stuff, but once because um, I didn't have a proper drill, it took a little longer. Um, but once I was set up, it actually wasn't too hard. Um, these shelves are adjustable. And so I got this because I wanted a bookshelf. Um, as you can tell, um, as you'll be able to tell soon, I'm really into wall, um, like concept hanging things. Here I have my books that I don't really use as much, including the MCAT, sorry. Sorry, MCAT. And um, um, this is like a second desk for me, or it could be somewhere like I can paint. Um, not worry too much about like making a mess. I can like move it up if I want to. I can move everything up. Um, that way I can like fit my chair under there too. Um, so I really like that it was adjustable and that was like a key seller for me. My mirror that I got from Ikea, um, it was pretty easy to install and it was only about 30, $20. So it's an over the door mirror. Here's my closet and it's a pretty big closet. Um, as you can see, I have my like tops, um, my bottoms. So the doors slide. I put all my jackets on one side, um, my pajamas and bras on the bottom. I like to hang them. My shoes, I'll probably get a shoe rack. And a little dresser for um, like underwear and pajama pants and pajama tops. Um, I put my sports clothes in here and some other like miscellaneous things sometimes. Um, so I'm not like a dresser person. As you can see, my room doesn't have a dresser. And I love floor space. For my laundry, I got three little laundry hampers from the container store. Um, it helps me stay organized by automatically separating it from lights, colors, and darks. That way I don't have to separate it um, like one bay laundry 
before I do laundry. I can just take a little one and then do laundry and it's more manageable that way because um, laundry is something I struggle with. Um, so this was just an idea that was that I did some research on and found um, that helped people stay on top of their laundry. Here is my view. Uh, I can see that building. Um, it's another resident building. Obviously, I guess these are all resident buildings. And then another window over here. So here is my bed. I got my bed frame from Amazon and it was about $150. I got a queen size bed. And then I also got my mattress um, from Amazon. It's like a hybrid, so it's spring and foam. Um, I went to the mattress store and I tried a bunch of mattresses and then I found like a good dupe for the one I liked most. I love it. I would 10 out of 10 bite again. So for my duvet cover, I decided to go with um, a Calvin Klein modal cotton blend. Um, modal is like, it's softer than cotton. It, is, it keeps cooler. It's, I worked at um, a clothing store at Nordstrom and I fell in love with that kind of material. Every time I felt it, I was like, what is this? And it was always like modal. My sheets, I got a also a modal blend because I'm obsessed with it. Bought ones that were infused with, it was like Papua Rayon or something. Um, it's supposed to be like really moisturizing. So I do really like my sheets. I think they're really soft and comfortable um, just as well. As far as moisturizing goes, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know actually if I can tell that much of a difference, but I guess I just like the idea that maybe it is making a difference um my skin isn't dry so <laughs> yeah who knows and then so that's those came with a pillowcase as well and then for my third pillow i have a like a slip um silk pillowcase that i i got because um i don't know i heard like some good reviews about how it was like good for your hair and skin and it kind of i kind of was just sold on it i needed another pillowcase anyway so yeah, and then for my pillow, um, well, these are all different kinds of pillows. One of them is like a memory foam, um, like cotton hybrid um, that I got from Ikea for real cheap. And that's this one. And then this one um, is a, like a down pillow, the um, goose blend um, that I think I got. I, I got that Bed Bath & Beyond, but like a like a long time ago that was my pillow first year so I actually couldn't find it again um but because I forgot like this specific name and this is the pillow that I just got um it is from Bed Bath & Beyond it is 100% goose down like 500 full power it's very soft um and comfy and I don't know I just like going for investing in a lot um for bedding, I think it's important to invest in something that you find is really comfy. So for my comforter inside my TV cover, I bought an UGG um, Goose Down comforter because Goose Down is like the most insulating and obviously I live in Chicago and it gets really cold and so I love my comforter. I think it's very soft and uh, fluffy and it's just... So it keeps me so warm, like after you kind of like heat it up and while you're in there inside. But I don't think it's too hot either. Um, when it was warmer, like I was, no and it was never a problem with being too hot. And I guess that's why they call it like all year round comforter. So I think it's a really good blend. Here's my same rug from Marshalls that I've had since first year. I am thinking about getting another rug, um, but. I, like I said, I'm still in the process of doing things. Um, and then this is that chair that I got from Target. Um, it was pretty easy to build, so I just put in the legs. And it is, um, it is not like so comfortable, but it is not uncomfortable. Like I think it's a really good in-between chair. Um, I'm using it for working. I don't like wheelchairs that much because I feel like they distract me. And I wanted something where I could like potentially get an ottoman for and like as I said raise this and make a little reading area if I wanted to one one day um or like alternative like it could also be for my desk and so 
Here is, probably wondering what this is, but this is my DIY wall fold down desk. And then, uh, oops, I forgot to put this up before this video. Oops. So this is a wall um, thing from the container store and you just sort of put it on the wall and then that way you can just easily have what you need and they're magnetic so you there's actually different kinds um of pieces and you can get a bunch of wall pieces and they all the wall squares as many as you want and just they're all sort of customizable the desk is actually a bit too high um <laughs> that was a mistake i made when i was making it but i decided to just film a room tour before I fixed it. Um, but I am going to fix it and you'll see that in the future. Um, but it's more or less the, you get the idea. Um, so this is in comparison to the chair. It's a bit too high. I do like high desks, but this is a bit much. You know, I can still do work on it, but it's just, um, I prefer it to be a little bit lower. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to fix that. But. but yeah, I made this desk all by myself, um, and I will show you guys how I did that in my next video. I'm going to post, um, as soon as, well, I already finished it, so just need to edit it, and I'll post it within a few days, um next week at the maximum just for spreading things out. I'm really excited to show you the process. It wasn't too hard. Um, I have no prior experience in things like this. I just did research and I put it together, you know? Um, so yeah, let me show you how it works. So it has these hinges over here that um, I just press. idea of being able to use things for multiple purposes i.e. folding up a wall desk and putting it down and then changing my chair and just making the room very um like multi-purpose or almost um fluid so dynamic so everything is like always changing no but um so it was like changes to you know what I feel and my mood and um yeah so for the remainder of my decor, I need to still get pillows. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, the throw pillows, like the colorful ones, because I may wanted my bed to be kind of white and neutral so that um, I could spice it up with colors, because I didn't want, I didn't choose, like, my, um, my color themes. I guess I kind of like like the white um, and then accenting it. <laughs> I know there's so much white in my room. Um, so yeah, I just need this whole wall over here to be decorated. I thought it'd be a cool idea to do a whole video about um, the process of decorating um, something like my wall with art, you know, um, my art and local artist art or um, artists that I like from online, on Tumblr, um, you know, creating art for the purpose of my room or, or like Etsy and I thought it would be cool to do a whole video about that so now I have that plan rather about waiting more um, time to, to film this um, room tour just to get on that and do it like piece by piece of me. I'm doing that. Let me know if you guys have any questions about, you know, how difficult it was, the process of moving off campus. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this room move-in tour. Not so much like a finished room tour, but the move-in process. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.